Hello and welcome to my very first video here on YouTube. My name is Thomas and I like to code. Let's get started. Did you ever ask yourself, where did all my money go? Why am I always broke? How much did I spend on clothes this month? Was it really okay to eat out so often? Am I ever going to be rich and beautiful? Well, I can simply check my expenses, but as a coder, I like to automate things. So let's do this instead. And it's way more fun. For the coding part, I prepared an example CSV file. It looks exactly like the real CSV file with all my expenses, but it only has one row. So it's way easier to check if it, my code actually works or not. If you look at all the different columns, you can see that I'm only interested in three. First, it's column three, the date. Second, it's column six, the shop and column nine, the amount of money that I paid. The very first thing we need to do is to read in this CSV file and extract all the relevant information, like the amount of money that we spent or the date when we spent it. After that, we are going to put it into some sort of list so that we can operate on it later on. Okay, we are done with the first part, now let's give it a try. And as you can see, we are reading in this file and we get the data that we want. Works great. According to the example CSV file, we only went shopping once and only in one store. But in the real world you spend money like all the time. So we need to figure out a way to categorize all our different payments, like gas or groceries or heck, even Amazon payments. I created this JSON file, which will contain all the categories that I want to know my expenses for. Each category has a name, as well as a list of shops that belong to this category. Now that we have this structure of categories, it's time to read in the file. Let's get coding. As you can see, reading in the categories file works, but I don't like that I have to go into the categories of the categories. So I'm going to change my categories file. I think this is going to be a better structure. Now that we are able to read in the CSV file on the one hand and our categories on the other hand, it's time to marry them together. Okay, let's see if this actually works. So for our groceries, we paid 40 euro and 70 cents, which is exactly the same amount as here. So it seems to work. So I updated my categories file and put in all the categories that I am interested in, as well as the shops where I do my shopping. And I downloaded my real expenses for the last month. Now I want to try it out if this actually works. Here we go, looks good. Besides this, but this is an easy fix. It should only add the expenses that have a category. There we go. So we have all the expenses that I'm interested in and it looks good. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. Until next time, keep on coding.